Welcome to the TV Music Network Podcast with Phyllis and Belinda. I'm Belinda. And I'm Phyllis. And today we're going to talk about Days of Our Lives. Yeah, Days of Our Lives, the soap that's streaming exclusively on Peacock. Had a lot of fun and stuff over the weekend at their um, Day of Days fan event, their free event they have every year. Um, We'll talk about that probably in another episode, but today we'll just try to catch you up a little bit on the show. Yeah, we're going to tell you what happened on today's episode. Yeah, there you go. Uh, just in case you haven't seen it yet, yep. I'm going to watch it later, or yep. aren't able to see it at the moment. Right, the October 24th episode of the show. Yeah, Tuesday's episode is kicking right off. Go. Uh, let's just, uh, well, we had, let's talk about Trip. Oh, Lord, Trip. What trip is Trip. Yep. Yeah, Trip and Wendy, you know, we know Trip got hurt last week at the hospital, and he's there, and Wendy was, you know, massaging him and everything, and making right. sure. Right, getting all happy, they seem you know, happy okay. together. They seem happy, and Trip's like, oh, you're going to distract me, and everything else, and of course, you know, they start kissing and everything Right. Else. And then, um, that's Trip and, um, and Wendy. Then, at um, the meantime, yeah, Trip's mom, Ava. Trip's mom, Ava. She gets a visitor. Some, like, I don't know. Mop the guy. Yeah. That he's working for Clyde, who's blackmailing Ava, threatening Trip, and um, so forcing Ava to like run drugs or to do something with his restaurant. Who knows exactly what she's doing, but we'll probably get more details and stuff, details on that very soon. But in the meantime, they are. Trip walks in on their conversation. He wants to know if everything's okay with his mom. And they're, you know, trying to pretend everything's okay. Ava's looking all scared, but not quite, you know, really scared about it. She doesn't want Trip to get hurt. She wants Trip to be threatened or anything like that. And we know that it's, it's, and we know it's, it's, um, it's going to lead up to more. And yeah, everything exactly. That Ava does. Right. And Trip's just because he's concerned about his mom. You yeah. Know, he's, he's being the good son. Yeah. He knows mom's. You know, something's happened here, and she's keeping something. And, and she's not... the kind of person that always gets herself in the trouble, into some situation that she can't get herself out of, and someone has to help her. Sometimes it's even Steve, who's Tripp's father, to try to get her out of these situations. Yeah. And then we had Harris. Yeah. Harris spent the, pretty much the whole episode. You mean Jason. Well, Harris. Harris. Yeah. He's on He's on Days of Our Lives now, so he's Harris, kind of acting like Jason. Yeah. <laughs> age, but that's a whole nother story. Same black t-shirt. Yeah, I got, to, got that black t-shirt. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. So he basically spent, like, the whole time, you know, in the pub just talking to Kate. Right. Kate so knows and him. transitioning yeah. into his new job. He's yeah. going to be a cop now, working with... Um, Jada and Rafe at yeah. the police station. He's going to be her new partner, so you know that's going to... I'm sure that'll cause some trouble. You know that's going to cause some trouble, some kind of way or some kind of thing, but it could also be very interesting. Yeah, so we it have really to look could and be. see if it, you know, it could... Right. It, yeah. Well, he's just coming off of the story... Um, He's just coming off the storyline with him and Ava when they were trying to save Susan... That's how they found out Susan was alive. And looks like Harris and Ava might be starting something because he dropped that ambo. Ava and I are just friends. Friends. We're like, oh, they you know, that, we're yeah. just friends uh, angle or drop that we're just friends amble. You know it's coming. Yeah. And then, um, let's see, what else with them? Kate warned her to be care- warned him to be careful and she was going over the laundry list of all the stuff that Ava do- that yeah. Ava has done in the past and Harris said the thing I'm not into the gossip stuff and you know as um Kate was talking about everything and um he you know he got the advice he said it was noted and all this kind of stuff and he'd be done with it but it sounds like Harris is just going to make his own decisions about it yeah so Harry goes to the police station Mm-hmm. And he meets up with Rafe, and he meets up with Jada, and they get their first assignment. And their first assignment is to try to find Dimitri and find Leo. Dimitri and Leo. Now, dude, what do you think about the, the the chemistry with Ava and Harris? Okay, well, first of all, I think it's gonna be fun because Tamara Braun yeah. is a chemistry magnet. She yeah. has chemistry to everybody, and she's such a great actress that she can make that work. And if they take it slowly or yeah. take it. Don't take it for granted. 
then it'll probably work storyline wise. Who knows? Yeah. I have to see. I you can't really. It. It's just kind of really interesting because the because old GH and then yeah, right. there we go. Mm-hmm. And then this Gil guy, you know, he looks like he's not one that's gonna be sitting around and waiting, you know, this whole Ava Ava situation. Oh yeah, so, the guy who hired Ava for to work yeah. at the bistro. So that's what it is. This kind of seems that way and whatever. But anyway, so that's um yeah. But then we got so now we have that going on. We have Rada, Rada. <laughs> yeah, Ray. Ray, Ray so Jada. we have you know Ray and Jada. And we got Harris. You know he's a new partner, so we right. know that's you know that's gonna be something. Then we got this whole thing. Then we have Kayla. Yeah, yeah. Kayla talks to talk to Ray. Ray was seeing a lot of people today. Yeah, yeah. Kayla came in, saw Ray. Wendy was she talking was to him. She was basically making right. like her statement, you know, right. about how she was, you know, what happened at the hospital and how right. how, how know, she was so easily fooled. And easily she's fooled all shocked by that and all shocked like that too. And then Rafe also, I mean, just might as well wrap up Rafe. Yeah. Then Rafe, at the end, you know, Wendy's been looking for a job and all this. So then Rafe, at the end, offered Wendy a job. Right. At IT, at the um, at the police the station. police station. She helped him fix yep. his computer that said it was going to have some spyware or something that, and he doesn't have any safe walls on it. She can do it. She fixed it in three seconds. So, of course, Rafe's like, oh, you fixed it right away. What only took you three seconds? You know what that means? That means you should have a job. Sight unseen. Credits unseen. History unseen. Interview unseen. No questions. I'm just going to hire you. You know, in yeah. the soap yeah. opera. In soap opera thing. Soap opera hiring. You notice how they always, they have like an HR department in all these soap operas. But you never see the HR department. They never check anyone's credentials. No one's, you know. Katie on Bold and Beautiful. She does her HR. Oh, no. Katie's PR. They didn't do any HR on Bone and Beautiful when Paris got that job. Yeah. Oh, we looked at you. Everything's great. Yeah. You know, so I know. you can just Who make knows? up a resume, put anything on it. Well, I was trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I guess no, not. nobody no. has any Maybe HR. we can have, maybe we can see an HR person on any of these soaps. Is there an yeah. HR person on any, any of these of soap the soaps? Offers? None. So now we now we need, we need the character. We need the HR HR manager, in spirit. The one that tells them. How tacky all this stuff is, and how they could this could be a liability. Well, they usually do that with the lawyer. With the lawyer, yeah. The <laughs> but just whatever, saying. Yeah. Well, Any, anyway. Anyway. When so you got a job now. Yeah, when you got a job now. Trip, Trip was also making the rounds because then Trip went and saw his stepmom. Oh, yeah. He saw Kayla. He went to work. He went, he went well, well, to work. Yeah. And they got the you know, the hospital thing. You know, they talked about that. So then, then he's back. Then, um,. So we have Tripp and yes, we have Harris. Right. So we have Tripp and his mom and Wendy, and then we had Rape and Jada and then Harris right. with the whole um, hospital thing. But the funniest scenes I thought today were Leo. Yes, and Dimitri. Leo and Dimitri. Cracking me up. I mean, it starts off with I mean, I mean, some of the funniest scenes I think is with Leo. Period. Yeah, I know. And now he's, he's with Dimitri. So you got to figure these characters that he's going on. We've seen his little transformation, and kind of like you'll see his when we escapades. Yeah, and you'll see some stuff he told us on our interview. Right, that Greg we'll Rickard, who soon. plays Leo. Yeah, just like <laughs> just you don't crazy. know what he's gonna do. So that's like a character I like because you know. You don't know what's going to happen. Right. Like he always has a little twist, and sometimes it's like the same thing, but it's always a little, a little, a little, a little yeah, twist. Yeah, I love it. But I thought some of the funniest scenes with him. He starts off with his dream, the weirdest he's in dream bed, ever, and you know, of course, the cops break in, and it's you know, um, Raider and Jay. But I mean, wait, wait, why can't I get yeah, their names together? You love that Rafe Rita. and Jada. I make it my own name. Rafe yeah. and Jada. Right. Bust in and he's like, oh no. Then he's like, get out of bed. We have nothing on. You know, and he's like, right. no, I don't really care. Yeah, we can't do this. Dimitri uh, can't come out. She's like, yeah, it's got a magic penis. Yeah, and she's like, we've seen it all. Just yeah, get up just and get all up. that. So he's so there. So he's like, oh, uh, we're going to have to get out of town. And Yeah, they're, they're currently holed up in a hospital, uh, excuse me, in a hotel room on the outside of town. Dimitri just got escaped from the hospital because Leo, well, Leo or the nurse dressed up, Leo dressed up as a nurse to break him out of the um, hospital bed when he was in custody. And so now they're trying to find a way to get out. And they pull their money together and they have $14.42. And they're like, where's your money? How come you don't have any money? How come it's only $14.42? I'm like, oh my, my God. Goodness. Hilarious. 
Anyway, they come up with this one of these um crazy Ralph Cramden kind of schemes. Yeah, it's a straight it's yeah. straight out of the straight out of the honeymoon. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna break into the into the newspaper office where Leo has his petty cash and they'll steal that money and then they'll use that to take off, but they don't wanna talk to Dimitri's mother Megan because then they'd be all worried about she's crazy, she doesn't do anything, as Leo said, she doesn't do anything under the radar. Yep. That would be a good prior way for us to get caught. Exactly. And he's like, well, actually, this is, this is all Leo's ideal. Dimitri's like, this isn't gonna work, you know, this is crazy. No, he said, oh, we need to get out of the cold weather, my body doesn't work, you know, Yeah. in in, in this Wisconsin, you know, weather and stuff. So he he, he could lead to go west. Well, Dimitri's like, no, we need to go out of the country. Right. He's like, he wants to go up to California. Maybe he'll go to Arizona. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> no, someplace without an extradition treaty, hopefully, yeah. where they won't have to get caught. So the, he says, oh, I have this idea. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> I have this idea. And right at the, you know, the, uh, two seconds, I look down because you know, that break is, is coming. And now I see is. He's got this sheet, sheet over his head, yeah. Out. And he's got this cover, and he's dressed like a ghost. Yeah. And he's like, "Oh, it's gonna work." And yeah. He's like, "Oh, this, oh this yeah, is like, how gonna, is this gonna work? This is not gonna work." He's like, "No, I can get you out of this hotel. I can get you out. Right. No problem. We'll be in the square. We'll it's sneak square in the square because it's Halloween. Yeah. And we'll be a bit of high. The and hunky we'll cop. be a bit of high. Goes, Wait, you think rape's hunky? Yeah. He goes, uh, that was pretty funny. So, so, so you know what's gonna happen. It's yeah. gonna be the whole Halloween thing. It's gonna be hysterical, and they're gonna be probably walking out as a ghost. And it's yeah, just a lot and of someone's ghosts gonna... gonna be like, "He looks familiar," and I bet it's gonna be Thomas. He's probably gonna spot Leo and be like, "Wait a minute, that's that guy." Who knows? But it should be pretty funny. Looking forward to watching that. Looking forward to it. That's basically everything that happened. Can you yeah. think of anything else that? That's all that happened yeah, in Salem. Yeah, that's basically giving you a, a quick rundown of every, you know, not yeah. every, you know, of who was on today. So if you don't have time to watch it right yeah. now, you know, and then you can yeah, just that's catch basic, it later. Like, who was on today, what, you know, and what happened, you know, in general to let you know. Right. And that's basically what happened today on the Days of Our Lives on Tuesday, October 24th. Yeah. Basically... You can find Oops, us. I'm a little hurt. A little early. A little early. Basically, you can find me at Belinda's LA Music. Talk about all things music and TV and soap operas. And soap operas, yes. And you can also um, visit us online at TV Music Network on Instagram, TV Music Network on Twitter. Yep, TV Music Network on, online, TV and Music Network.com. Um, you can find me, Phyllis underscore Thomas, on Twitter. Don't not really as socially active as I should be, but I'll get a little get better at that. And you can also look. We're posting our interviews from Day of Days. Right, we're posting them um, basically all week. All week, and we'll so, be recapping during the week. And too. we'll also do a recap and let you know. And then we'll also let you know what's going on in days of our lives. Yeah. So taking us out, we got um, our great friends John and Dave. Taking this out with the beautiful song, Call the End. Yes, I love that song. And we want to, again, like she said, thank you for doing that. And that's it. We'll see you later. Yep. Bye. Bye.